I'll give you two minutes. I'm missing a show I like. Bangs again. Someone stage an interview. Kill Weathers. Weren't you two, um... Yeah. Who's he? Uh, this is Richie, my boyfriend. How long have you known him? Six months. Did he know who your dad was when you met? Express any interest in Woodsboro or the Ghostface killings? What the hell are you talking about? Your killer's obsessed with the stab movies, right? Well, there's certain rules to surviving a stab movie. Believe me, I know. Rule number one, never trust the love interest. They seem sweet, caring, supportive, and then welcome to Act 3 where they're trying to rip your head off. I was with Sam in Modesto when Tara was attacked. And let me guess, you were just in the other room, conveniently unaccounted for when she was attacked at the hospital. Okay, do I have to take this from shitty Sam Elliott over here, or what? Rule number two, the killer's motive is always connected to something in the past. I'm related to Billy. Right, but then why kill that random Vince guy? That's for you to figure out. And rule number three, and this is the most important rule. The first victim always has a friend group that the killer is a part of. Does your sister have a close-knit group of friends? Yeah. She does. Then look for the killer there. If you can find out why they're doing this, you can figure out who's next. So help us. Help us figure out who's behind this. Oh, are you kidding me? I've been stabbed nine times. I've got permanent nerve damage and a fun little limp. You think I want to do that again? You just said it always goes back to the past, right? So, if I'm in danger, that means you're in danger. Come on. Let's do this together. Your time's up. Jesus. Yeah, he's way more fun in the movies. Okay, uh, what's next? The friends. 